I'm next to Mr. Al Windy, who has Colonel Gaddafi's hat on his head. A Colonel Gaddafi's, well, I don't know what you call this, but it's a sort of uh, a, a Masonic sort of um, bushy thing yeah, that he exactly. used to throw around, and, and his necklace. Now, where have you been, Al Windy? Uh, well, I've been in the Wizarding uh, Mountains since uh, four months ago. I was fighting Gaddafi troops uh, in Kikla and other places of, and parts of Libya. And now, I, this is the first day uh, after four months from struggling against Gaddafi troops. And I'm, I'm really proud for, from, for this moment that, that the Libyans have waited for 42 years. And, uh, and I'm going to give this to my dad uh, as a prison because he, used to, he has suffered a lot from Gaddafi and Gaddafi policy. Tell me how you got the hat. And where uh, well, I mean, it suits you. It was, it where was, did you get it from? It was really pretty hard. I, um, I just went inside his room, which Colonel was, was his yeah, bedroom. Yeah, Gaddafi's yeah. bedroom. And I, it, was, uh, it was really, I was like, oh my God, I'm, I'm in Gaddafi's room. Oh my God. But then, then this thing happened. I found this. I, I was like, oh my goodness. But I'm happy now. I'm having this thing. And I'm, I'm happy for Libyans, for, for those people who have suffered a lot. And I, I really thank all, all the countries that have stood with us, that have given us uh, the, uh, yes. the, happy, uh, uh, the help and, and support. Mm. A lot of people have died and a lot of people have been injured. Uh, so you, I guess you, you must be feeling mixed emotions yeah, as a, a result a of that. A lot of friends have died with me in the, in the front lines. Unfortunately, I... I really, I really, really, really uh, had that feeling that they should have been with, with me in this moment. But it's, it's, they, God loved them more than me, maybe, because they're with, next to God. They are in heaven. What, yeah. what happens now, do you think, El Windy? The, what happens now? Now we should forget all the past. We should take a better, better steps. And we should uh, work together as Libyans, Arabians and Berbers. And I am sure, I'm sure Libyans will, will, will shock the world because we, we, we would like to do something. Gaddafi have, have, have put us in a bad situation since this, these past years. There's been a lot of talk about revenge, about revenge killings from, from uh, the guys who are on the winning side, which is you. Big moment for you guys, a big, big moment. Can you try and sum up the feelings that you must be going through right now? Well, it's different feelings. It's happiness, it's sadness. It's just unbelievable. All the people that sacrificed for us, for this moment, we're in front of his compound. And where is he? He's underground. He can't do anything. Where is he? We're looking for you. Where are you? Come on! Come on! Where are you? What we want is Gaddafi and his sons. We're going to get him. And they're going to go to court. And they're going to be judged. That's what we want. The Libyan people, they are kind people. And they're going to... Anybody who... Forget about Muammar. Muammar is finished. And his sons are finished. Libya is free now. People have been waiting for this moment for 42 years. We have been waiting for this. And from now on, we will have a new Libya. We will have a new Libya. Do you understand what does that mean? We will have democracy. We will be free. We will be like you in England. I'd like to thank Mr. Cameron for all the help and the support he gave to this country. I'd like to thank all the English people for all the help they have given to this country.